What is up, everybody? Good morning, or evening, friends. It is I, Wise Guys, and I back with a little bit of Overwatch. Now, the fun part about this is that this is probably one of, if not the most fun things I've done in quite a while on Overwatch, and it kind of made me want to play a little bit more. I've, I've done a lot of competitive stuff lately. Um, the competitive stuff is hit or miss, mainly because when you're doing competitive, you have to deal with other people. I know. It is a uh, team-based game, and so on and so forth, and dealing with people is kind of the most important part. But it gets frustrating dealing with a lot of people, because some people are just kind of jerks. And there's really nothing you can do about it, but deal with them. For example, I played a match, I think earlier this morning, um, and a gentleman decided to tell me that I should not play Lucio if I cannot play Lucio. I should just leave the character alone. Um, I picked up Lucio in that match, a quick match. Um, I picked up Lucio because we had a team with, I think it was a Hanzo, um, four DPS, a Zarya, and me being Lucio. I figured I'd pick up, I'd feel, because I wanted to make sure I, we had a support. Um, I mean, somewhere during the match, the Zarya decided to switch off Zarya, ended up picking like a McCree or something like that, and so we had no peel, we had a lot of damage, um, but nothing was really going well. I wasn't playing my best, uh, most people weren't playing that well. It was kind of rough. It was kind of rough to play. Um, that said, I kind of fumed over that for a while and understood that yes I should be playing better but there were also a lot of factors for example no peel so at one point we're playing on Hatamura everybody pushes up to the front gate and while they're pushed to the front gate uh, I decided to stay back because I saw a Sombra who was sneaking her way around so I stayed back to try to keep the Sombra off um, closer to the project to, to the objective and the rest of my team decided to literally push right up to the enemy spawn and stand there and try to fight them at a salon. And I thought that was a poor decision for my team. But thought that was their decision to make. They, they're able to make that decision if that's what they want to do. Um, so there is... I, I actually had some Lucia matches that I'm going to post. Not because the guy said that, but I happened to play Lucio in some competitive matches. And things went rather well. I think one's in this video, actually. But I decided to go in and play some free for all, and free for all is more fun than I thought it would be. Um, the tough thing with free for all, of course, is you have to pick a character. And when you pick a fair character, you've got to be very, very particular as to which character you choose to pick. Um, Everybody has their own strength, everybody has their own weakness, and there are, you know, different things you're able to do. For example, I am playing Moira. Moira cannot stay alive. Like, she doesn't do that very well. Um, one of the best things she can do is throw out her orb. There's an orb for health. Um, that's probably her best way to stay alive, other than her fade, which just kind of gets her away. Um, you know, some characters do a lot better than others. Some, Moira, the biggest problem with Moira is she doesn't do a lot of damage, and you don't get credit for the people you don't get the killing blow on. Just like any other, you know, free-for-all type game. You don't get credit unless you do the killing blow. So, it's interesting to play as Moira because you can do a lot of damage, but even in doing a lot of damage, you're probably not getting killing blows, you're basically helping out like a Doomfist or a McCree or maybe even a Hanzo. You're helping them get their kills. Um, that being said, Doomfist is not good for... Well, I mean, I guess he's good versus Moira or Farah in this case, I guess. Um, I guess he's okay, Doomfist. Um, the reason I say that is because I'm able to fade out of 90% of the stuff he does. And that, that's just very helpful. I'm either able to fade or just dodge and kind of keep an eye on what he does and stay out of the way. As long as I'm 
thinking about it and not trying to be fancy. But yeah, it's it's most of the time against Doomfist, I don't have a problem. If it's just Doomfist. <laughs> Got him. Um, but like I said, this is a lot of fun. And you wouldn't think it's fun until you get into the game and it gets close. Like they give you the nice little, I think it's first 20 kills. They give you the nice little, you know, enemy's got this far to go, you've got this far to go, so on and so forth. Um, I don't think they really tell you anything until you get a little bit closer, like you're within like five or so. I've got Coalescence. So I should be able to get some damage in if I need to, but not a lot. I was hoping that would bounce off the wall, but it didn't. See, that's the thing, like, think of, of Lucio, think of Zenyatta, characters like that. You might do okay with them, but you're not gonna, like, when you get to ult, your ult is basically useless. And I know you wouldn't think that the ult would be basically useless, particularly for Lucio, but Zenyatta's ult is basically in this mode only a diversionary tactic to try to get away or an escape mechanism but it's hard to get away because now you've shown everybody where you are you're the giant golden floating ball and there's nothing you can do about it um, Lucio can give himself a shield but it ain't really helping that much like it ain't you're not gonna beat somebody just because you got the shield down to the last four kills for the enemy but I'm actually doing a lot better than I thought I would be doing, particularly with a character like Moira, um, because her damage is so low. But because her damage is so low, -hoo -hoo -hoo, that was a good shot. Uh, because her damage is so low, I have things that can throw my orbs out and that type of thing, so I can keep damage on somebody, or I can siphon health away from somebody who's a long way away. So, keep your damage on, he does Meteor Strike, Fade. The Fade essentially means that he gets no shield from that. No shield whatsoever. So because he gets no shields... Oh no. <laughs> she's, in, she's in the first place too. Um, because he gets no shields, Doomfist is a lot easier to deal with, unless he can connect with his ability. Like, I just got lucky on some of this stuff. D.Va you would think would be better than she actually is, mainly because now D.Va comes from every corner, or enemies come from every corner, and because enemies come from essentially every corner, it makes no sense to really play D.Va. Her, it, it reduces the effectiveness of her, um, <laughs> I got a kill. I got the tying kill based off of nothing. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! I do like they still do this, but like you'd think D.Va would be really good because she has the second health bar essentially. The problem with playing D.Va is that her defense matrix is a lot less effective when she's getting hit from all sides. Plus, now that they have reduced the damage of her um, primary attack fire, it's not worth it. That being said, she's still really good. Really, really good. Alright, on to some calm. This was a fun match. Speaking of fun matches, if you watch Overwatch League, today is April 22nd. I want to say it was played on about the 19th or the 18th. I think it was the 19th. Um, the Boston Uprising played the London Split Spitfire, and that match was great. It ended up turning into, I believe, uh, I don't want to spoil it, but watch that match. It's like two hours long to watch the whole thing. It's worth it. Like if you want, if you are at all interested in esports, if you're interested in Overwatch and seeing it played on a really high level, what up? What up? It is very. That that matches. I mean, that match. Yeah, Ooh. Two healers. Ooh, I had so much fun. One tank. Yeah. Yeah. 
What's wrong? Yeah, see how it goes. That's right, you're gonna see how it goes. That's right. That's right, you're gonna see how it goes. It's gonna go great. Cause one of your healers is an assassin. Uh again, this was not something in response to the gentleman that had something to say about my Lucio, because again I could have played better. Now I choose to look at it that way. I choose to look at it less of oh, you him and more of Well what could I have done better? Work on my positioning, work on make sure I'm able to help my team a little bit more, that kind of thing. So, this is a competitive match. Um, I think I just got back in the silver. Take this point. I honestly don't remember. I don't remember if this was a bronze match or a silver match, but I think I was either on the cusp of silver or I just got back in the silver one or two. My aim is off. She still died. That's important. It's always good to kill her before she gets back into her mate, as you would imagine. Going hard on on Zinni here. Oh! I should have flipped the switch and gone into um, speed. Could have got around the corner real quick and then gone back into health. But, you know, if ifs and buts for candy and nuts. Yeah. Yeah. I love wall riding. Wall riding is some of the most fun in this game, I'll be honest. They need to make a Mark Echo getting up once again, a sequel. Or a jet set radio, and then you can use it with like Lucio mechanics. I would love it so much. Um, trying to do better and trying to do more about using the uh, the boop as a tool to displace, as opposed to as a tool to try to kill or something like that. It is great if you need the last hit, um, but it's also great. Say you got a diva. I can't get to you, diva. I'm sorry. Say you got a D.Va who pops out of her mech. Helping Hanzo die. Well, dang. Say you got a D.Va that comes out of her mech. If D.Va comes out of her mech, you can absolutely, um, as she pops out, redirect her toward your team. And woo, that would be just amazing. Because a lot of times they try to angle themselves out of the way of your team. As Lucio, you can get behind her. Because she almost always pops out behind at some angle, so either back left, back back, or back right. If you can get behind her, it doesn't matter which direction she's popping out. You use your boop, and she is going right back into your enemy team or into your friendly team, and there's nothing she can do about it. Can't kill me. I'm the Lucio man. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so much fun. If you've never played Lucio, I invite you to play Lucio. See how far people push up. Well, hard to deal with. And then they want healing, and I'm like, I don't mind healing you, but you make it hard. I understand what you're doing, and I appreciate it, but a dog. That being said, we do have two healers, so I probably could have gone up there with them every now and again. I just don't want to expose myself to death if I don't have to. I'd rather fight on the fight and die on the point. Yeah. GG. Yeah, get a little soccer in, a little footy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. As usual, I always think about moving my character, but I decided not to. looking forward to the next round. Now if we can get this cap, of course we win. Let's go Lucio. Oh. oh! Oh, my boy's on top of the basketball goal. They should, uh, Blizzard, let us dunk, please. <laughs> Pretty please. Of course, it can't be for everybody, but let us dunk. I just want to be able to dunk. Thank you. Let Lucio come around the corner and shkadow! Let Sarah do her actual dunk. Like, for, like in the highlight video. Yeah. Let May boost herself up and then dunk. Or boost somebody else and dunk. Oh, that'd be great. Blizzard, let us dunk. It's not just two points. <laughs> oh, look at that. Hashtag still alive. Not getting a lot of health for myself, but ended up falling to the mighty hands of 76. I love 76, too. But jumping around and wall riding. Oh, it's so Particularly on this, because it's harder for them to aim than it is on, like, mouse and keyboard. 
I would love to see how well I do on mouse and keyboard, but I'd imagine it's not as good. A, because I'm not used to mouse and keyboard, and B, because um, their aiming is going to be far better. She is all about them walls, man. <laughs> Back up. I didn't know she was behind me. Did not know she was behind. Let's see where she came for. Wait. Oh. Oh, she wasn't even going after me. That's great. Oh, goodness. And the beat goes on. Get it back, guys. No, it's not. Welcome to Miami. <laughs> the answer is no. Alright, so right now my goal is keep D.Va alive long enough to get to her mech, and she just died. I can't do anything about that, though. Now, this was actually fortuitous. Cause we started staggering deaths real bad. The trick is that nobody's really sticking together, and we really need to stick together. Like, our Moira and a lot of other characters, if you watch, Damn. go in there seemingly all by their lonesome and just try to you know try their best to mow everybody down and that got me killed but see that's the best thing see how many people died all at the same time that means we're gonna spawn in a clump and we won't trickle in like Hanzo right now is running in all by himself what Hanzo is planning on doing all by himself I don't know but it just so happens the rest of the team is here so we can kinda get there at the same time Moira by herself I don't understand what she's doing it's a positioning mistake and it becomes difficult like I can't help her nah son get this point back do that Go. and boom and that helps us st stay on the point longer their heals are going to go down because we're starting to kill their support our heals are going to start going up and now we yes. take over Uh, 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 uh. We're just gonna stay on the point. My goal now is to stay on the point to at least 99. Um, the first time I get it, I try to stay to at least 45, and then after that, try to stay to 99. Reason being is because once we have it flipped to 95, they are at a terrible disadvantage. They have to get things done really quickly, really easily. If not, we are right there to um, take them out. Because once we flip it, it's pretty much ours. Um, I could have followed the D.Va upstairs. I did not want to follow the D.Va upstairs because I knew our team probably needed the heals. Um, we got Moira, but I personally don't like Moira as a single support. I like Moira if she's got somebody with her. Um, because she's here, I probably could point. have Back separated. Um, and once I separated, probably could have got, you know, kept gotten that diva out of mech but I don't think it would have been the risk would have been really worth it to do all that yeah 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 che 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 getting on point uh getting some shields on my boys having that uh sound barrier is at the right time is great and that's the that's what I was saying before diva pops out of mech I'm able to knock her into the corner over by herself. She's trying to escape and run outside, run around, run around the corner. But because she pops back into that corner, once she hits the ground, she's just running herself into a wall, and that just gives us more opportunity to kill her. A diva out of mech is a Lucio's best friend. Real talk. Um. And they're not on the point, so we get the win, and we'll take it. But yeah, that was. Okay, that was decent. I got to do a little bit more to get a little bit better, but you know, keep your eyes open. I've got some other stuff I'm planning on dropping. We'll drop that, son. Go drop that. Yeah. And hopefully, just overall be better, um, particularly at competitive. The season is about to end, so I'm not going super hard this year or on this season. Maybe next season I'll go a little bit harder though. Either way, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Leave me a comment. Give me some Lucio tips, some support tips. That would be great. Job. Peace out! Ah!